Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right. Today, let's have a discussion or debate since you guys are sitting at home uh, and uh, you want to discuss something where there will be yes, where there will be strong views. Fine. Here's my question to you. Where is God? Where is God, especially when you need him the most? Where is God at a moment like this? Where is this almighty, great, merciful, know-it-all, omnipresent, omni-whatever? Where is he? <laughs> yeah, have you, have you noticed? Uh, Muslims pray to Allah, but Allah can't do anything in Mecca, nothing. He can't stop the virus from spreading. They have to shut it down. Mecca being... The holy place for Allah. They couldn't do anything there. Vatican with Jesus Christ. They couldn't do anything there. The Hindu gods. You break coconuts on them, put milk, feed the rats, feed the cows, feed the whatever. Drink cow piss, eat cow dung, have cow dung shower. Nothing is happening. All the gods, all the gods... Looks like they have taken a holiday. Funny, right? People are suffering, people are dying. Oh yeah, best one, the religious healers. The healers who could heal in the name of God, who could touch you, just pay the money and you know God will bless you in abundance. What happened to those preachers, man? Those magic healers. In the name of Jesus, you will get healed. And he touches them and the guy can walk. The guy who's paralyzed. The guy who cannot see, can see. The guy who cannot move, can move. In India also, you had... He goes like that. And then we had the Muslims who believe, who is to preach. If you believe in Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and you recite the Hadith, nothing will happen. No virus will touch. But then so many Iraqis, Iranis, Saudis, Arabs, Muslims are dying. And then you know what they'll say if you speak to them? God is testing them. Uh, God is punishing those who are sinners. Yeah, that is why you are saved, right? You're a good guy. You're a holy holy. You're God's chosen special, special selection. Rest everyone is a bastard. All those children who are dying in Syria. All those small innocent children who are dying in Africa. Out of hunger, malnutrition, sickness who are eating sand. That's God's punishment. Or you'll say God has a special plan for them. Special. That's why he's making small little babies eat sand. You know, they eat sand cakes with sugar. God, that, that great God. The bombs that are killing. Oh, that is not God. That is man is doing it. And what is God doing? Yeah, he's, uh, he has a special plan for them in heaven. And then we have these religious scholars who will quote, you know, chapter 18, verse 16, God said, there will be a curse in the land and people will be there. But if you put the blood of Jesus, nothing will happen. So, and the question, where do you get this blood of Jesus? You get in some oak shop? No, no, Lord, it is the spiritual blood of Jesus. Oh, like that. But if it's a spiritual blood of Jesus, then why only spiritual virus doesn't attack us? Why only real virus attacks us? So, all these religious people will give you great lectures, tell you great stuff. But no solution. Hope and pray. Where is your faith? Why is your faith so weak? You should believe in the God. G O O N D gone. I used to think the same. There is a God. 
Uh, I used to believe there was this God in the sky, or God in you, God in everything, God in this, God in that, God, 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 God. But then it became Lada, Lada, Lada. You don't know what is Lada? Ask any Hindi guy. Yeah, you speak Hindi. So, you know, my uh, being born and raised in a conservative Catholic family, reading the Bible, I used to love to read the Bible every day. Read, 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 read. I used to always believe God has a special plan for me. God loves me. God this, God that. Even after I used to get abused and beaten and hit and I used to pray to him incessantly. Even with all bruises and scars on my body, I would sit outside sobbing and looking up to the sky, see one star. You know, you see, always see a bright star, right? In the sky in the night. I used to sob, look and think Jesus is there and has to cry and say, why Jesus, why did you make me born? And then, you know, I got angry with Jesus. But after, you know, once I started to grow up, I started to ask these questions. Like the Bible says there was a man, first he created a man, then he created a woman. And I was like, who was there to witness all this? was there to write. Okay. He created man and woman. And then he created a magic talking snake. Hello. How are you? <laughs> like uh, the one in Jungle Book. So man, woman and talking. Snake. Hello. Hello. So with the talking snake, then he had magic apple. The magic apple. And the, there was this garden. Okay. So the thing is, there is this God. There is this garden. There is this man, this woman. And this Hello, talking snake. Okay. And this God knows everything. He knows every single thing in the world. Fine. However, he, the God who knew everything, the God who is everywhere, could not predict that the talking snake could convince the woman who could convince the man to eat the magic apple. And the magic apple apparently seems to be his son or something like that. Yeah, some bullshit, I forgot. Okay. So, it's a source of knowledge of good and bad. And why the fuck do you keep something that is so important? It's like hanging your balls for people to punch. What the fuck? Okay. Now, God who knows everything, who was everywhere, who could predict everything past, present, future, he didn't know this was going to happen. Okay, fine. And uh, after it happens, he banishes them. Tells the snake, from now you're going to crawl. I don't know whether the snake was walking before. Like, uh, you know, in that monster's ink. Was it walking? Okay. Then Adam and Eve start fucking. And they get Abel and Cain. Okay, then Abel kills his brother. But then the population grows. So, you know, I, be, I was thinking like, okay, father father and mother have sex. They get brothers, sisters and brothers. So the brothers and sisters are fucking each other. And we are all, so brothers fuck the sisters and they give birth to children. And those children fuck each other and they have more children. So basically everyone's fucking everyone in the family. Is that normal? Okay. And see, here's another thing. God created the world in seven days. And the seventh day he took rest. Who was there to jot down? So God gets tired. He did hoof. And there was a sun. He did ha. And there was planets. And, and there was a universe. Yeah. Well, that that is definitely a scientific explanation. Definitely. That makes so much sense. That is better than science. Better than science that says we don't know or the Big Bang Theory, okay? Better than that is Magic Guy. That's it, okay? Then uh, then you had the one man build this big boat where he puts all the, all the animals of the planet, all the animals, to take care of two dogs in the house and clean their shit is a fucking nightmare. He has... Every species of every planet, 
he has to feed them he has to clean their shit he has to clean their piss imagine decks different decks just four five people have to clean the shit of 10000 animals 100000 animals i think there are more than a million animals yeah so just imagine how do they do that how do they feed the logistics for feeding these animals cleaning their shit oh and uh, how do you ensure that the lion doesn't eat the deer or uh, the lion doesn't eat some other animal tiger doesn't eat uh, the pig cat doesn't eat the rat how do you ensure all this i don't know and how do you tell the animals sit in one place don't move maybe they build cages and uh, how do you clean the shit man just just the shit shit and piss okay that also they don't have answers so see like this there is so much of bullshit in all religions uh, it's it's fairy tales you know nice story books and people believe that okay fine i i have no issues believe in all this believe god appears to some select people to do magic stuff that he heals people and all that fine but then where is this god now where is he she it they them where is where is the god when you need him testing you okay so how do you know if you pass the test or you fail the test and uh, so the people who are suffering whose children have died uh, families have died has uh, suffered due to starvation or lack of job or disease so god is punish them uh, god has a special plan special for the small children who get raped god has a special plan for them and then when you can't answer all this the answer is god works in mysterious ways mysterious hmm very mysterious and then if you speak to anybody and ask them uh, why did god make you in the holy book written god made you so that you can worship him pray to him worship him glorify him and uh, and then after you die you will continue to worship him glorify him so i'll give a good example a good analogy i made my daughter i created her to worship me just to fall down pray to me say i am the greatest i am loy mesido is the god loy mesido is great i made her to do that i created her so i have 10 children the only job is loy your great loy your merciful loy your everything and i give them food and drink and then when they have their children they have to also fall down and worship me so that's why because i'm merciful and after my children die no sorry uh what and if they don't listen if they are not part of worshiping me i punish them i violently punish them i give them diseases i make them die of hunger i lock them up i make them fail so what a amazing parent i would be right what an amazing father who do such amazing stuff to his children if a human being would do this you would you would uh, call him not only call him a monster you would ensure this person is jailed and put away the keys are thrown away but then the same logic when you apply to some magic sky god it's okay you see the stupidity of the human race where killing is a sin but killing in the name of religion is okay uh you know using common sense and asking for evidence and advice no you're using asking for evidence someone took money from you okay show me the proof but then you're supposed to believe a god without evidence you use common sense for every other thing but you use nonsense when it comes to some spiritual being yeah god will punish you see and here's the biggest thing of all which religion is true the religion you belong to muslim islam is true christian christianity is true hinduism hinduism is true so you which religion you are born into is the true religion so then every other religion is false 3000 gods all 2999 are fake false man made except yours amazing right 
So my question to you is simply this. Where is this God? Where is he? Which magical, biblical, Quranic uh, book, number and verse you'll give me? And he has another thing. I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. I don't even acknowledge him. I don't hate him also. I don't acknowledge him also. How come I'm happy? How come I have a good family? Huh? I have... Uh, I don't believe in a God. I don't give him any credit. He doesn't exist. So, why am I doing so well? Huh? Funny, right? So, think about what I said. Give me the answers. Why do children suffer? Why are children getting raped? Uh, oh, man is doing it. Oh, God is sleeping. Now, this COVID-19 virus. Why isn't there a God? Why isn't he healing? Why? He wants to punish everyone. So he's enjoying or he's sad that he's punishing everyone. People don't have jobs. People don't have livelihood. They are under stress. So this is God's, you know. Yeah, I am God. Yeah. So the people are doing well. The rich people, the billionaires, millionaires. So God doesn't test them, no? God tests only poor people, right? Shah Rukh Khan, then Chris Hemsworth, then uh, Donald Trump, all selected by God. Oh no, it's a devil, devil, oh, the devil is there. So isn't it better to join the devil's club and you enjoy such perks and benefits? One day they'll suffer, Loy, one day after they die. Yeah, you went to heaven and you saw it. No, wow, oh, this is heaven. Wow, this is hell. Oh, 72 virgin, vagina, 72 fresh, fresh pussy, fresh, we can eat and we can fuck and we can play with the pussy, 72 fresh. See, a God who respects women, 72 virgins. I don't know if they do the same for women. Like women have 72 cocks, fresh cocks to fuck. 72 of them. Or is it only for men? What about children? They offer the same perks, 72 virgins. Land of milk and honey. Only milk, honey, no cheese, no pizza, no burger. So let me know. I'm giving you your own religious teachings. Tell me, where is this God? Why he's not doing any magic? Why the prayers are not being heard? Why an atheist is not being punished? Why only good people have made to suffer? Why the poor suffer the most? What is God's special plan? Where is heaven and hell? Tell me. <sighs> Until then, guys. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know where is your God. God. While I pray to my God. Tattooed Thor. The TTT. Triple T. The tattooed Thor. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. May Allah be with you. Jesus. Amundra. Thor. Zeus. Ganpati. Shiva. And have I missed any God? Okay. Even I should be a god. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Love to hear your logic of illogical stuff. Anyway, let's see. I give you the benefit of the doubt. Prove it to me that your god exists. Prove it. I'd love to be convinced and maybe change. All right. Take care.